It's hot, 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 hot in New York City. And I figured what better way than to embrace this heat and go on a tour of New York City, arguably one of the smelliest, noisiest, and most claustrophobic cities in the world. But when you're on a mission for good books and good stores that sell books, it's an easy feat. So let's gather ourselves, let's get copious amounts of water, let's pack our bags, and let's head out to the mystery, the excitement, and the allure that is New York City. But first, I needed to pack some things. Number one, my trusty bag. Number two, my current read. It's great, by the way. Number three, my new, well, new for me, but definitely used camera. Oh, here's some footage to check the quality. Okay. And number four, some snacks for the road. I definitely can't juggle. Because you might, or I might, be a little sweaty today, you're gonna wanna bring your favorite fragrance. And that's right, I have partnered up with Dossier to get an amazing scent to carry me throughout the day. If you don't know what Dossier is, it is a company that reproduces high-end luxury scents at a fraction of the price, keeping the exact same quality by removing retailer markup. Dossier is constantly adding new scents to their roster and is consistently taking suggestions from customers for future releases. Most of their perfumes range from $29 to $59 with a guaranteed risk-free system, allowing a customer to try the perfumes before committing to them. And if you do decide to return the scent, they offer a standard 30-day return period and you can get a full refund. No questions asked. And in addition to their already great prices, their website offers bulk deals and free shipping on the purchase of three plus bottles. Now let's talk about beautiful babies that I've gotten. The first one that I got was Ambery Cedarwood and I've already worn this to an event and there was actually a girl that came up to me and she said, oh my God, you smell so good. To which I obviously replied, thank you, I know. And then we both laughed and I smelled great. And the second scent that I got is Ambery Vetiver, which has honestly been my go-to scent for the past week or so. It is incredibly refreshing and it feels like it's a very young, youthful scent, which is a perfect pair to the summer months. And with my discount code on a Wallace 5, you'll be given an additional 5% off the already fantastic 20% welcome offer. Enjoy, my beautiful friends. Ready to go. I'm also now realizing that there's some color quality problems with the camera, which is fine. We're just gonna have to get a little funky with it, you know? Let's have fun. I also left my house at peak heat hours, which reached about 90 degrees that day. And you can imagine that these streets and the subways were a stankin', baby. Stankin'.
don't really make it up here that often. It's kind of foreign to me. So yeah, I don't usually make it around here that often, but this is one of the most affluent parts of the city, around Museum Row, right next to a very famous park. You might know which one I'm talking about. And, trivia, one of the hardest places to use public restroom. You go into a restaurant, they don't want you there, baby. They do not want you there, so go before you go, you know? Seems like I have superpowers. First bookstore unlocked. I at first heard about Albertine after reading article upon article of best New York City bookstore suggestions, and after seven years in New York City, I have finally arrived. This is actually located in the French Embassy, so as you can imagine, the bookstore specialty is a mixture of both French and English novels. Perhaps the most striking attraction, aside from the already ornate entrance, is the second floor ceiling, a vibrant hand-painted mural of planets, constellations, and stars. I think it's pretty easy from the jazz playing the copious amounts of grass, which is, you know, kind of difficult to find in the city. I'm in the central of the parks, the most central of them all. Conveniently located right next to Albatine Books. That was honestly probably one of the most beautiful bookstores I've ever seen. That was on multiple lists of bookstores that everyone should see before they die kind of thing. I've seen two on the list. Well, the one list that I've seen. My bookstore was actually built in 1902. It was a wedding gift. <laughs> and the architect was the same architect that did the Washington Square Arch, which if you're from the city, you know is a huge deal. Even if you're not from the city, you can infer. I think that this is like a designated pee spot. In New York City, basically, if there's any place that's slightly covered, it provides a little bit of hiding <laughs> from the general view. Somebody has urinated here. Somebody or something has urinated here. These are also delicious. Prime, prime idea. Delicious. The most beautiful 
thing about New York City is that nobody cares what you do. <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. If there's one thing I will say, I do get lost in Central Park. I'll take one left and I'm gone. I'm totally walking back to Brooklyn, it feels like. I don't even know where I am, so. Let's see if I can get out of here. Let's see if it'll happen. Fun fact, that's actually my favorite museum in the city. The Frick. What the Frick is going on? Great museum. most stunning building you've ever seen. <sighs> Nothing sums up New York City better. I me. I was having a little bit of a Maryland. Let's check this place out. Boy. Considered one of America's foremost independent bookstores, Rizzoli Bookstore has been in New York's nomad neighborhood location for over 21 years. It had previously been in its 57th Street location for nearly 29 years. What I found most amazing about this place was the murals inside the building. And it, something about them invites the reader to wander and wonder a bit, maybe escape to a genre they otherwise wouldn't explore and find a bit of calm in one of New York's most bustling areas.
did you guess that this was going to be the last place I've been here before. I've had a lot of fun here before, but it is a favorite for a reason. So let's go through, check it out, embrace that air con, and enjoy the last bit of the day. Why not? Okay, so everyone knows this store, or at least has seen a bookmark or a bag or some sort of trinket brandishing the Strand's name. Family owned for nearly 90 years, the Strand has become somewhat of a tourist attraction for book collectors, enjoyers, and those who only slightly dabble in the sport. Come here any day of the week, at any time, and you will invariably see the floor packed with people. But to get to my favorite part, we gotta go all the way <laughs> okay. In the bookstore's basement is where you'll find a range of nonfiction, offbeat titles, indie press, and some sale books. It's part of the store that provides the most privacy, and for me, helps enrich the roots of the place. Now, unfortunately, there was no aircon down here. I'm so hot. Nobody's here. <laughs> Wonder why. to wrap up my day and use one of my favorite public restrooms when I tripped and fell into one of the most devastating things I'd seen in a bit. The bathrooms were no longer fully public. A code is now required, which I get, but it also breaks my heart a little bit. I'm happy to buy to use the code, but it hurt. I left quickly after that and unintentionally recorded a conversation between Oleg and I. Okay. Baby. See you later. I love ya. Anyway, I hope you had as much fun as I did.